Hi, this is Kate from Is Delicious Designs. How are you all? Well, today I'm going to show you how to make my little acorn. Now, I know there's some other Lumigurumi acorns out there, and uh, that's absolutely fine. It's made a little bit differently, but uh, the fun thing is that if you make two different types, or even however many you find, three, four, four different types, if you're putting them together on a wreath or something like that, um, it's going to look quite effective because you're going to have different shapes and different styles and so that always looks quite nice this one is my one it is um an, an all-in-one it's not a top that you attach to the bottom it is an all-in-one uh so we're going to make a start in it i'm going to use two different shades of brown band i'm using a darker one for the little cap here that we have and the stem on the top and then I'm actually going to use the caramel color for the um, shell you're going to need some stuffing I like to use a 2.75 millimeter hook I also like to use a stitch marker so uh, if you don't have one like this you can use a safety pin a bobby pin um, a paper clip anything like that really that works we're going to start by using our darker color so we're going to be working from the top this little cap of the acorn down all right so we'll start by making a magic ring of six so take your first band and loop it twice around your hook so that you have three little loops and you're going to take six bands one two three four five and six and you're going to do a magic ring if you need um, me to go a little slower for the magic ring or for some of the stitches I do have Lumigurumi tips and tricks there's also a beginner's guide I would definitely recommend having a look at those if you're finding that my uh, tutorials are too fast uh, because they will help you get the stitches and once you've got the stitches down pat it really opens up a huge world of uh, of what you can do creation wise so there's our little magic ring of six our next thing to do is an increase in each stitch which means you do two in each of these stitches and that's called an increase so we're going from six to twelve so our first one you go through and we're going to put our stitch marker on this and then you go back through that first stitch you go through that same one so we're doing two stitches in each of these little stitches you will end up with 12 stitches around your work the chomping in the background i put some treats down for the for the cats they love these there's like Cat, um, catnip flavoured treats and chicken and tuna and all sorts and they absolutely love them I'm like get them off my desk they can go and eat some nibble on some treats instead and you'll have to excuse my voice I know I sound very nasal we have all got colds here uh, head colds so let's check one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve is on your hook now we're going to do a round of single crochet and an increase and that's going to take us to 18 all the way around so that's the single crochet and now we do an increase one and two in the same stitch and of course madam has decided to come and sit with us <laughs> all right so now go through both loops single increase single increase now I'm not sure if, if uh, many of you have seen I did um, a little pumpkin and what I did I went to Michael's and I bought one of those wreaths made out of just twigs that are sort of twined it together and I added my little pumpkins and my acorns onto this wreath and it looks so cute um, but I need a few more uh, which is why we're doing this and um, 
I need to get some orange ribbon and pop that on and jazz it up a little bit and, and then I can have that as a wreath inside. I've actually got it on one of my doors inside. I don't know how it would do in the elements if it was, well, I suppose it, outside in the sun it would be bad, but in the rain it probably wouldn't. Um, so, yeah, I, I might grab it and show you a bit later. Well, there's a picture. I'll show you a picture of it. So we've done single crochet and an increase now we're going to do two single crochets and an increase so there's our first single crochet put your stitch marker on it second single crochet and now we do an increase we're going to do this all the way around I will meet you back when we have done that there's my increase we'll go again single single and then in this one increase by the end of this round you should have 24 stitches okay so I'll meet you back when we've done our complete round of single crochet single crochet increase so I've completed my round of two single crochets and an increase now what we're going to do is work in the front post so this what we're going to do push your hook through from the front to the back and then pop it back out okay so you're wanting to grab this little portion here all right and take your band and we're actually going to do this one as a slip stitch because we're changing the direction of our work if I don't let everything unravel there we go there we go and we're going to pop our stitch marker on it and pushing through grab that next one we're going to go all the way around just doing a single crochet in this post all right Now you should end up with 24 stitches because we're not doing an increase, okay? So when you have come to the end or where you think the end is, make sure you count just to make sure that you do have the right number of stitches. end here let's make sure so one is where our stitch marker is so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three I need to fit one more in and if I have a look ah here we go here and poking through there's my last one now the tricky part of that one is because it's near a slip stitch and so you think that it's the slip stitch but that is actually our 24th stitch. Now what we're going to do is change 
to our caramel. Now, you can use, it doesn't have to be caramel. You can use a lighter brown, you can use a skin tone, whatever, okay? Go through your first stitch, and we're going to do a slip stitch because we're changing colour. Move your stitch marker to that. I'm going to go all the way around doing single crochet. So I will make sure, I will make sure, I will make sure I do my round of single crochet and I will catch you back when we have done single crochet all the way round. That is going to be 24 stitches, no more, no less, okay? Actually, I'm, I'm lying to you, we're going to do two rounds, two rounds of single crochet in this colour, all right? So I'll catch you back when we've done two rounds. So I've done my two rounds of single crochet with caramel. Now we're going to do a round of single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, decrease. So three single crochets and a decrease. So here's our first one. And change your stitch marker. And then two, three, and a decrease and we do that all the way around now uh, one of the things that you are going to find is that our last stitch you're not going to be able to do a decrease because um, we have 24 stitches and we're doing three single crochets and a decrease so you will end uh, having to do a, another single crochet Three. Now you'll see what I mean. There is no extra stitch to do a decrease. There's just one stitch, so you will just do a single crochet, like so. All right. Now we're going to do uh, a round of single crochet. No increase, no decrease. Just single crochet. You will have 20 stitches now all the way around. Seems to be a busy morning here. We've got uh, repair car repair vans turning up at my neighbours. Doors are slamming. All right, now before we get much further, I'm going to pop my end stitch on my stitch marker. So I've got my last stitch there and my first stitch is there. I'm going to work a little bit on the top here before we go much further with this. The first thing I'm going to do is the little stalk. So I'm going to take a single band, wrap it once, twice, three times, and then take a band, stretch it, loop it on itself, and pull it through and reclaim. I'm going to do that for however long I want the stalk. I usually, I think, do about four. So two, three, four, 
three and this will be four keeping it on my hook okay I'm going to go if my magic ring is here I'm going to go from one side across that little hole in the middle like so and I'm going to take a single band and pull it through and I'm going to loop these on like so and I'm going to hold them together take another band and flick it at you and tie off like that I'm going to poke my hook through where the end is here so it's through this side this is where the other side is I'm going to pull it through and make sure that that knot is in the middle okay so my tie off band is actually all in here and the stalk is just the bit that's sitting out okay now across this rim okay we're going to do some fancy footwork here get to the part where it sort of merges where you've got your your bands that uh, they're joining in together you can see that this is where it starts here and this is where it finishes you're going to go and go through the loop closest to you so this is our stitch here we're going through the the loop closest to us so only one side of it and we do a single crochet and we do this all the way around and you'll find that that's 24 stitches should be 24 stitches and you're just going through this little loop that's closest to you <laughs> if I can get the loop on my hook we only have two days of school this week, Monday and Tuesday. And then Wednesday, Thursday and Friday are off. The schools are off for Thanksgiving, which will be lovely. Have a bit of a nice break. Last week was nice too. We ended up with Thursday having a snow day. And then Friday was a day off school anyway. So uh, we ended up having a long weekend then too, which was really nice. Well, other than the fact that we've all been sick, but it was nice that we could be sick at home and not have to worry about waking up early and going into school. This is crazy of me to say, I know, but I really, I, I'm looking forward to some holidays. 12 weeks of not having to get up early. What terrifies me though is this is, is he's in fifth grade. So this will be the last year of elementary school and I'm I'm scared I'm scared for uh, for middle school all right so around we go now this I believe is my last stitch now I'm going to make sure it's folded down I want to pull this across now I want to make sure let's count this was my slip stitch here so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. I've got one more. So where's twenty three? So this has to be twenty four. And now I'm going to go in the front loop again and go around an another round in the front loop only the loop closest to me I'm going around again so I'll meet you back when we have done this second round of front loop only all right so I've completed my second round of just working in the front loop single crochet and it's now time to tie it off what I'm going to do this is my first stitch here I'm going to go into the first stitch I'm going to grab the band 
and I'm going to do a slip stitch one over the other. Now I want to kind of hide it underneath the work. I don't want it to be visible that I have this tie-off band. So I've got it here. I'm going to go through under this little lip that we've created and just gently pull it through without pulling on it so that it's not uh, distorting the shape. I'm going to find a little tie-off band, like a little band under here, go through that and I'm just going to anchor that inside the work with the tie-off band so that when you actually look at it you're not seeing that it's pulled too tight okay so that's the the little lid of our acorn that's how we have completed that now back to our base here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty is back on our hook. We're now going to do single crochet, single crochet, decrease. You can actually get rid of your darker bands, you don't need those. So two single crochets and a decrease. So go through your first stitch single crochet, move your stitch marker, single crochet and now we do a decrease. Okay, you're going through both loops of your stitch, single crochet, single crochet and then decrease single crochet single crochet and decrease this should take us down to 15 stitches single crochet single crochet decrease single single and we finish on a decrease from here you're going to do a round of single crochet just single crochet 15 stitches move your stitch marker one Two, three, four, five, six, seven. done I didn't go through the right loop then I think that's 11 13 14 and 15 we're going to take it down to 10 now so single crochet and decrease and everything's being kicked out of the way by the cat so single crochet move your stitch marker and decrease single crochet decrease single crochet get out of the way you decrease 
decrease. Crochet. Decrease. Single crochet. And decrease. Okay, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten is on your hook. You're going to do a round of single crochet. Move your stitch marker. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're going to take it down to seven bands. Now, at this stage, you can stuff. Uh, I'm going to take it down to seven bands and then I'll stuff. Single crochet decrease. Okay, so here's my single crochet. Move my stitch marker. It's only going to take seven bands. So single crochet, and now we do a decrease two outer loops. Thank you very much. And then single crochet and decrease. Crochet and decrease. Finish on a single crochet. Oops, there we go. So I'm finishing on a single crochet. I'm going to just move my stitch marker to that. It really is not going to matter now. That that's not our first stitch. I'm going to grab some stuffing and we can just stuff this. You don't need much stuffing. So I've got the uh, this polyfiber stuffing. Let's splay open the base of our creation and pop our stuffing in. Now with this I've tried to make it so that it is more stuffed at the, um, I suppose, the, the head where the little cap is, as opposed to at the end here. Okay, so I've tried to make it so that this, this part is more bulbous than this little part at the bottom. If you feel there's too much, do you see how you can see the stuffing coming out here? If you feel there's too much, take a little bit out. That is fine. and then see if we have it right. I think that's going to work. Now, with our last stitch here, what we're going to do is take a single band, okay? We're going to, our next stitch here is going to be a decrease. So you're going to put as many of these stitches as if you were doing a decrease where you're collecting the top stitch of each of the bands, but you're going to keep going. It's not just going to be the top three. You're going to collect as many of the top stitches as you possibly can and put them on your hook and slide them onto one band, okay? Slide them all on, even our first stitch. All of them. Uh, do I have one, maybe, one second, I'm going to go this way, let's see, what have I got there, yep, there's my, that's my first stitch, so I want that one on there as well, I'm busy un uncollecting that, there's my next one, there we go, 
So I'm collecting all of those stitches, okay? And I'm going to take a, a single band. I'm going to tie these off like so. And I'm going to pull that inside my work. I want that to be hidden inside my work. Oh, I've got a bit of a bit of stuffing there too, so I'll get rid of that. And that is it. That's my little acorn. There we go. Look at that. I think it's really cute. Oh, there's the tie off band. Let's hide that. We don't want to see that. Get back in there. There we go. Tie off band is hidden. I think it looks nice with a variety of different colours. As you can see, um, I think the caramel looks quite nice. I like the darker nutty brown too. You could do a skin tone. Um, that would work quite nicely. How much you stuff them would depend on how full they look. Um, so yeah, pretty easy. I hope you enjoy it. Take care. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe to know when I'm doing more videos. Take care, everyone. Bye.